if you're new here for the first time, welcome. I am Jill Baird. Today we have a 20 minute hit class with dumbbells. We start and end with a Tabata, which is a body weight cardio circuit. And then sandwiched in the middle, we have a six move strength circuit with medium dumbbells. Um, in the Tabatas, there's gonna be an option for instead of taking the 10 second rest, if you wanna challenge yourself to hold a move. So for example, in the first Tabata, we're gonna be doing hand release push-ups, And then in the 10 second rest, we're gonna hold a plank and then go back for 20 seconds to the hand release push-up. Um, I am using medium dumbbells for me. Those are 12 pounds. Uh, if you like to play music during your classes, please go ahead and start your music now. And if you haven't warmed up, please pause this video and do a five to 10 minute warm up. There are several warm ups in this playlist that I've linked above and also in the description down below. Can't stress enough how important a warm up is. Okay. Um, I am going to go ahead and get this timer going and we're going to start in a hand release push up either from your knees or from your toes so starting in that high plank pose we're going to shift forward onto our toes lower down to our belly release our hands and then press back up to a push up so don't let your legs off the hook here i think a lot of times we don't think about a plank or a push up as being a total body move but we really need to squeeze okay plank hold Shoulders under wrists, pressing through the heels. Tuck the tailbone under, squeeze your butt. And now we're back to those hand release push-ups. And when you come down, the entire front side of your body should touch the mat at the same time. Definitely not flopping down as slow and controlled. Elbows against the ribs. And you don't have to lift your toes. I know I've been lifting my toes. That's a little bit extra. Oop, bell plank. Press the mat away. Spread your shoulder blades away from one another like you're going to tuck them into your armpits. But keep them down your back. All right, back to those hand release push-ups. Inhaling as you lower with control. And exhaling as you press back up. So keep squeezing your butt, keep the legs engaged, core definitely engaged. All right, plank hold. Arms are really starting to be on fire. It's gonna be fantastic when we pick up those dumbbells. So don't let your elbows come way out towards the edges of the mat. We wanna keep them into our side body. All right, plank hold. So in that plank, without moving your hands or your feet, pull your palms back towards your toes and your toes forward towards your palms. Tailbone tucked under, pubic bone drawing up towards the chin. Whew, I didn't think this was gonna be so hard. <laughs> I'm really feeling this. All right, plank hold. Keep the gaze towards the horizon of the mat. Very steady, slow and controlled, moving with intention. All right, plank hold. Really press between your thumb and your forefinger, and then draw your triceps back. Cold. 
I've lost count, I'm thinking this might be <laughs> the last one.
So it's not a full squat. <clears throat> so if you were coming into a full squat presser, you'd probably be able to lift a little bit heavier. Make sure your core is engaged. Oh, these 12s are feeling pretty heavy. It's good, that means I picked up the right weight. And then it's almost like your feet are leaving the floor. You've got so much power as you press the dumbbells. Inhaling as you lower and exhaling as you press. All right, we're gonna do an underhanded bent over row. So again, hinge at the hips, squeeze your butt, palms face forward, and then row the elbows up into your side. Make sure your core is turned on, looking forward, and then imagine that you're squeezing a ball or a yoga block between your knees. We don't want our knees caving in and we don't want our knees splaying out towards the side. The weight is in all four corners of our feet, but we can lift our toes away from the mat. Keep squeezing your butt. So a lot of hinging in that thruster. Okay, we're gonna go back down to the ground. We're gonna do that whole entire set one more time. So I am gonna tabletop my knees for the circle chest press. Inhaling to lower, exhaling to press. And squeeze your chest as the heads of the dumbbells come towards one another to stop them from slamming into each other. And if it feels better to lift your head, neck, and shoulders, you can lift your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Just keep your core engaged. This is a little bit more of a total body engagement when we do it this way. So up next, we're gonna have those skull crushers. So heels in towards your bum. I'm gonna come up into a bridge. Remember, you don't have to. Elbows bend 90 degrees, dumbbells come next to the head. They don't actually crush the skull. And then squeeze the triceps to press the dumbbells up. Starting to feel really heavy for me. And you can alter how heavy the dumbbells feel by where you grip them. So if you grip up towards the top, it makes it slightly um, less difficult. And if you grip closer to the bottom, so that there's more of the dumbbell up at the top, it makes it slightly more difficult. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so glad those are done. All right, coming into that snatch, so bring the dumbbell between your feet, hinge, and then zip the zipper. Squeeze your butt, punch the ceiling. Gets the heart rate up.
squeeze your butt to stand up, then zip the jacket and punch. So hamstrings and butt are working to come up and then we're using that power to bring that dumbbell up overhead. So squeeze your butt as soon as you start to come up. And then that shoulder goes back and down into its socket. Oh yeah, back to the cleans. <clears throat> so slight bend in the knees and a press. Like you're punching the ceiling now with both hands. All right, I'm starting to think about our final Tabata. I'm wishing I hadn't written this down, but I did, and we're going there. It's a finisher. It's going to be fire, you guys. <sighs> right, sometimes we get into this and we're like, oh God, what was I thinking 15 minutes ago when I wrote this out? <sighs> oh well, we're doing it. <sighs> it's not called hit for nothing. All right, bent over, underhanded row. Hinge at your hips, squeeze your butt, engage your inner thighs, loop the shoulders down and back, palms face forward. Exhaling as you squeeze your shoulder blades together and inhaling as you lower with control. My arms are exhausted here, I'm not going to lie, but you know what? We signed on for the entire workout, and the entire workout is what we're going to do. Make sure you're squeezing your butt, hollow your low belly, scoop the belly button down, back in and up, and then draw the front ribs in. Okay, put those dumbbells somewhere safely out of the way. Grab a sip of water if you need a sip of water. And I'm going to get our Tabata timer going. So, we're going to end with burpees. <laughs> if burpees aren't your thing, you can do thrusters where you just jump back and jump forward, or you can walk the entire burpee. And then the 10 second hold movement, we're going to come all the way down to our belly and we're going to come up into a superman, superhuman, okay? It's eight rounds. Let's count how many burpees we get the first round. I'm going chest to ground with a jump. Um, you can do whatever version of a burpee you do, but do it. Don't stop moving, okay? I'm going to hit this timer. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to hop up, hop down. Press up and jump up. Keep your core engaged the entire time. And then remember, at the bell, we're gonna come down into a, a superhuman hold. So, pull your belly button back towards your spine, elbows in like little cricket wings, palms floating off the mat. I think I got five burpees. All right, back and do it. Two, three, four, five. All right, back down to that super hold. If you want, you can extend the arms out in front. That was two, we have six more. Heart rate should be nice and high. One. Super hold. 
Drop their shoulders down into their sockets. All right, let's go back to burpees. One, two, lower body stays engaged. Three, four, five. All right, carefully come down. We are halfway. Let's continue to get five during each 20 second round. Five, four, three, I am out of breath, I am sweaty, two, one, tailbone back towards your ankles, chest pulling forward, press through your heels. Thank you.